This presentation provides an overview of the Victorian Auditor General's report regulating gambling and liquor. Alcohol and gambling provides benefits for the community, but their misuse and abuse can cause significant harm for individuals, families and the community. Because of this, the government regulates both industries. Industry participants must be licensed and government compliance checking seeks to ensure that licensees comply with legislation and license conditions. The Victorian Commission for Gambling and Liquor Regulation, VCGLR, was established in 2012 by bringing together the functions and resources of two predecessor regulators. The aim was to create a more efficient and effective regulator with an integrated and risk-based approach to regulation. VCGLR has faced significant challenges since its establishment. For example, its budget and staff were reduced by around 30% in the four years after 2012 and it inherited staff engagement and cultural challenges and issues with its information technology. We assessed VCGLR's licensing and compliance functions, its performance measurement and reporting, and its collaboration with other agencies. We also followed up on action taken to address recommendations from two previous audits. A robust licensing process is essential for VCGLR to meet its legislative and regulatory objectives, which are focused on minimising harm and ensuring industry participants are suitable. VCGLR has made limited progress over the past two years in moving towards a more risk-based approach to licensing activities and is unable to demonstrate that all licensing applications are properly examined and assessed in line with legislative provisions before being approved. VCGLR has recently acted to address weaknesses in its quality assurance for licensing processes and needs to continue developing a more robust, risk-based approach to scrutinising applicants. Once licensed, it's important for industry participants to comply with legislative requirements and license conditions so that harm minimisation policy objectives are achieved. VCGLR has a critical role in monitoring and supporting this compliance, but we found that it has not monitored compliance with the gambling and liquor legislation adequately. Its compliance activities are not sufficiently risk-based because they have been focused on meeting a target number of inspections rather than directing inspections to where non-compliance has a high risk or potential for harm. VCGLR's compliance activities are also hampered by inadequate guidance and training for inspectors and a lack of reliable data on inspections. VCGLR has identified and started to address many of these issues. However, these actions were not sufficiently advanced for us to assess whether they will improve its effectiveness. VCGLR has a key role in regulating and monitoring the operation of the Melbourne Casino, but cannot demonstrate that its supervision is efficient or effective. For example, VCGLR rotates all compliance inspector teams through the casino, but has not supported them with adequate training, guidance and oversight. VCGLR has recognised these issues and commenced action to address them. VCGLR has improved its internally reported performance measures to better measure the impact and effectiveness of its regulatory activities. However, VCGLR's publicly reported performance information is focused on the number of activities it performs and so provides limited insight into its effectiveness. VCGLR needs to improve its public reporting to provide genuine insight into its effectiveness as a regulator. VCGLR is taking action to address many of the issues raised in this and prior audits and reviews, but the scale of required reform is still significant. Our recommendations seek to improve VCGLR's licensing framework and processes for assessing applications, the management and targeting of VCGLR's compliance activities to achieve a more risk-based approach, VCGLR's approach to casino supervision, VCGLR's collaboration with other agencies, the quality and meaningfulness of publicly reported performance information on VCGLR's effectiveness and the impact of liquor and gambling strategies and initiatives. The agencies have accepted all the recommendations. For further information, please see the full report of this audit on our website, www.audit.vic.gov.au.